Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Wave, and we're back with another video. And man, this LiAngelo Ball situation keeps on getting worse and worse. In last night's game, the Greensboro Swarm only played LiAngelo three minutes. Yes, you guys are hearing that right. Three total minutes. He played the least amount of minutes on the team, and the coach literally sat him right away. He didn't play the first entire half. And man, this is just unfairness to Lee Angelo Ball, and we're gonna discuss it. Before we discuss this terrible news, man, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on the bell to stay updated on the NBA. And with all that being said, let's talk Lee Angelo. Okay, so last night, Saturday, November 13, the Greensboro Swarm played the Vipers, and they lost 111 to 104, making their overall record zero wins and four losses. And. We already know the news, LiAngelo played three minutes. Three minutes, and this is getting ridiculous, and this is proving a lot of people in my comment section wrong. A lot of you guys in the comment section last video were stating that it's only one game, it's the start of the season, uh, they're gonna start playing LiAngelo more, but no, I knew I was right, I knew I wasn't tripping, I knew that this was going to be the beginning of a situation that keeps on getting worse and worse, and that's exactly what happened, but... This game was just sad to watch. I had to turn it off after the third quarter because they were not gonna play Lee Angelo ball. And the real reason why Jello got so many like little minutes is because of the fact that the Greensboro Swarm brought down Kai Jones and James Booknight, who took up majority of the minutes. As you guys all know, Kai Jones and James Booknight were the Hornets draft picks this year, and they are very highly on them. And obviously, they're the first priority on the on their team. And this was their first game down in the G League. And I'm gonna pull up the box score right now. Look at the minutes they got. Kai Jones, 34 minutes, and James Booknight, 40 minutes. Now, that's not really a valid excuse still to, you know, obviously we think LiAngelo should still get minutes, but that is a big reason to why Jello only played three minutes. And you guys can see the whole box score right now. Look at the minutes compared to Jello. Everybody played double digit minutes. Literally everyone. There's not one other player that played less than 10 minutes other than LiAngelo Ball. And this is ridiculous, man. Let's, let's go over everyone. Xavier Sneed in 19 minutes, 9 points. Uh, Crutcher, 34 minutes, 12 points. You know, JT Thor, 28 minutes, 10 points. Kai Jones, 15 mi points in 34 minutes. Imagine Lee Angelo got 34 minutes, man. I'm honestly going to start a petition. Imagine Lee Angelo got 30 minutes. What would he do? This man would drop 30. I guarantee you, if Lee Angelo got 30 minutes in a game, he was he's going he's going for a 30 bomb, man. You can't stop the sniper. James Booknight, he shot 22 shots. 22 shots, man. This man, Booknight, was chucking up shots. Obviously, he did, did have 33 points, so you can't knock him on that, but his field goal percentage was not pretty at all. In 40 minutes, 33 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, going 9 for 22 from the field, 5 for 12 from the 3-point line. Man, this guy was just chucking up shots like he had no teammates, and that's a problem I feel like that's in the G League. Everyone's playing for themselves. No one wants to see others winning, and they all just want to have, you know, go to the NBA and be their own star. Off the bench, McGriff in 17 minutes got 5 points. Are you kidding me? 17 minutes and only 5 points. Scotty Lewis, 29 minutes off the bench. And he shot 5 for 11, man. He had 10 points. Koboka, everyone's always saying, oh, Koboka's a better version of Leanne's low ball. He's taller and is more athletic. Man, in 16 minutes, the dude had 4 points. Four points. This is ridiculous. Obviously, you guys see Lian's low ball. Four minutes. And in the minutes he played, he had a plus eight in his plus minus. And that was one of the highest plus minuses on the team. Once again, uh, he did only have one shot. And that one shot was a buzzer beater where he didn't even want to shoot it. But he had to shoot it because there was one second left on the shot. And he got the ball passed to him. And that's one thing I like about Jello. He doesn't care about his field goal percentage. He'll shoot it. And he's a team player. He's a real team player. But... Clearly, the swarm, like the coaches, don't understand that. This, who is this guy? I always see this guy in the game. I can't even pronounce his last name, Nedigba. He had 18 minutes. In those 18 minutes, he had six points. But man, this is turning into the real problem right now. I knew when, when I heard Kai Jones and James Booknight were going down to the G League, I knew this was an even bad sign for Lee Angelo because even last game, he only got like, what, eight minutes? Now he got three minutes. 
I'm telling you guys, if James Booknight and, Ka and Kai Jones play this whole season with the Greensboro Swarm, Lianslo might even get some coach's decision do not didn't plays because like they're they're eating up big minutes right now. Lianslo Ball is at the top of the uh, is at the bottom of the priority list for the Greensboro Swarm. They don't care about the man. And the crazy part is I, the Greensboro Swarm's ownership knows that Lee Anslow Ball is, you know, a contributor to the team. They've seen it in the first game, 24 points in 22 minutes. In that game, Lee Anslow is getting good looks. And, you know, I don't understand what the real problem is now. He's proven everything he has to prove. People said that he wasn't fast enough. Look at him, first one down the court every single time. People said he can't play defense. He proved all throughout the Summer League and throughout the first four games with the Greensboro Swim that he is a good defensive player. There's very few times where Lee Angelo Ball loses focus and he's always focused on defending his guy. People said Lee Angelo is not a capable uh, you know, his jump shot's not going to translate to the NBA 3 level. Look at him, man. He's shooting almost 40% from the three-point line in limited minutes. There's honestly no other category where I can see that Lee Angel Ball is lacking it right now. Obviously, ball handling is one, but he's a true small forward. He doesn't need to handle the ball. He's a catch-and-shoot player. There's literally so many names I can name right now in the NBA right now who have made livings and have had a long, long career just off catch and shoot balls and coming off screen shooting and just playing the role. We're not asking Lee Angelo Ball to drop 40 every game. We're asking him, you know, you know, just we need him to get minutes and just play his role. And it, I, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. He did have one assist in the four minutes, which is honestly pretty impressive because for four minutes, it, you know, even touching the ball is a rare sight because obviously your teammates are not going to want to pass to you. And especially Lee Angelo, I do feel like a lot of his teammates are jealous. But to sum off the video, man, I do feel like the real reason why Jello is getting less and less minutes each game is because he's not the coach's priority right now. The coach's priority is Kai Jones, James Booknight, Xavier Sneed, and their you know recently drafted draft picks. And I feel like Jello is just to make you know Lamelo happy. Uh, obviously, I feel like. Lamelo needs to speak up, say something. Something needs to happen before this gets worse because I can see, uh, you know, what I'm judging of the situation right now is I can see Leonzo playing zero minutes uh, in the upcoming Swarm games, and it's just not going to look pretty. And if that does happen, I think it's time for Jello to either move on to uh, overseas team or go to another G League team, or he's got to do something. But this is not a good situation right now in the Swarm because. He's better than a lot of these other guys, and it's pretty sad that everybody else played double digits on the team except Jello. Doesn't that, you know, doesn't that seem a little fishy? Like, and, and it's by a big margin. The second least minutes played was by Cameron McGriff, who had 17 minutes. 17 minutes compared to Jello's four minutes. That's a pretty big margin, and I feel like there's something else behind this that the public or the coaching staff knows, and you know, they don't want to play him, but. I could talk about this forever, get in the comment section, it is, it is a pretty big deal and it's going to get worse man, but if you guys want to stay updated on the situation man, subscribe, hit that like button and turn on the bell and for Jello, keep your head up man, you proved yourself man and trust me, I do believe that you will get minutes, it's just going to take a little time but this coaching staff is hoeing you right now but with all that being said man, I'm out, peace.